Begin by downloading this. You can use Party Rock to create a generative In this, you can use Party Rock to create a generative artificial intelligence or generative AI application by using your own prompts. In this scenario, you have been asked to create an application that will serve as a resource for others to learn more about famous monarchs and rulers in world history. To get started, choose Build Your Own App. Choose the text entry box and the prompt, Explore the Lives of Notable Monarchs and Rulers in World History, will be automatically entered for you. Choose Generate App. Party Rock has generated an application using your prompt and provided recommended sections, or widgets, with default settings. It's even named it the Royal Chronicles. You have the Monarch Name widget where a user can enter the name of a king or queen that they want to learn more about. The Monarch Summary widget will provide a summary of that person's life once something is entered in Monarch name. Monarch Portrait will be an AI-generated image of a king or queen based on some keywords and chosen art style. Finally, Monarch Chat is a chatbot that can help users dive deeper into the subject. To get started, Choose the Monarch Name widget. There's a lot of information known about Queen Margaret I of Denmark, so this will be a good test of the Monarch Summary widget. In the Monarch Name Text Input widget, enter Margaret I of Denmark and then press Enter on your keyboard. As soon as you enter information into Monarch Name, Party Rock gets to work. You can see that each widget is accessing foundation models or FMs and generating content. Looks like Party Rock is done. You have a summary of her life, a pretty good likeness of a queen generated by AI, and the chat window shows that it is ready to answer any follow-up questions the user might have. Not bad for something created from your simple prompt. Now that you have a foundation to work with, you can tweak the settings to customize the application. To edit the page, choose Edit. Party Rock is now in edit mode. You can tell from the editing app message at the top of the page. In edit mode, you can resize assets, rearrange them, add widgets, and change the settings of each individual widget. Choose each individual icon to learn more about its function. Choose Next when you are finished. Now that you know more about each widget, examine the Monarch Summary widget. On the Monarch Summary widget, choose the Edit icon. These are the current settings for the Monarch Summary widget. The widget title is what is displayed across the top. To change it, choose Monarch Summary and More About This Monarch will be entered for you. Choose Save to make the change. The title of the widget has been changed. You can do this with all the widgets if you like to really customize the application. Next, go back to the Summary Editing options. On the More About This Monarch widget, choose the Edit icon. The model drop-down list shows that Claude has been chosen as the FM. 
Choose the model drop-down list to see the other FMs that are available. Each available model has one to three bars next to it. These bars indicate how much processing power each FM uses when generating content. This information helps you consider how much party rock credit your application uses. The more bars it shows, the more credit you'll use. Keep this information in mind when you choose an FM in a live environment. Next, see what kind of summary gets generated if you change the FM to Titan Text Lite. Choose it. That is a much shorter and more condensed summary. Although useful, that probably doesn't work for your project. Next, choose the Summary Edit icon to change the model. Go back to the model drop-down list and go back to the model drop-down list and choose Jurassic 2 Ultra. Then choose Save. Okay, that summary is better. You have more information that a user can work with. Next, you continue to fine-tune this summary widget. On the More About This Monarch widget, choose the Edit icon. Party Rock is built using prompt engineering. The prompt section contains the description used to create the content of the summary. You can change this summary to provide results in a different manner. Instead of a summary in paragraph form, change it to a bulleted list. Choose the text to change the detailed summary to a bulleted list and then choose Save. The information has been rearranged and is now presented as a bulleted list. Although useful, this option is a little too streamlined. Adjust the prompt to include both. Choose the Edit icon. In the Prompt section, choose the prompt to change it back to a summary in paragraph form, and a prompt to include key points as a bulleted list will be added. Next, choose Save. Now, you have a summary with a mix of both a summary and a bulleted list. Next, finish examining section options. On the More About This Monarch widget, choose the Edit icon. Now, expand Advanced Settings. Temperature and Top P are advanced parameters. Increasing them will increase the randomness of what gets generated. These adjustments result in more creative and imaginative text. Keeping these parameters low will keep the text truer to the actual prompt. For this case, keep the default settings. Choose Cancel to close these settings. This Party Rock application also contains a chatbot which is helpful if you want additional details about the topic. Choose the scroll bar to access the full chat window. Users can read the summary and use the chatbot to expand on anything that they find interesting. The bulleted list shows that forming the Calmer Union was a key point of Margaret I's reign. Choose the Monarch Chat Input field to ask the question, what was her role in the formation of the Calmer Union? The chatbot provides a summary of the Calmer Union of 1397 to 1523. The chatbot helps users dive deep into some of the information provided in the summary. A user could ask the chatbot more about the Calmer Union or they could ask a completely different question about a person or event in their life. Choose the scroll bar to return to the top of the page. Party Rock also allows for visual customization. 
In the lower corner of each widget is the resize icon. You can use that icon to resize the monarch name and monarch portrait widgets to reduce wasted space. On the monarch name widget, choose the resize icon to reduce the size. Choose the scroll bar to access the resize icon for the monarch portrait widget. Now, on the Monarch Portrait widget, choose the Resize icon to reduce the size of that widget. The widget will it as the Monarch Name widget. You can also move assets around on screen in Party Rock. On the More About This Monarch widget, choose the menu bar to move it next to the Monarch Name widget. Next, do the same for the Monarch Chat widget. Choose the menu bar to move the Monarch Chat widget over. This adjustment gives you more space. Next, you resize the More About This Monarch and Monarch Chat widgets to take advantage of this space. On the More About This Monarch widget, choose the Resize icon to increase the width. Choose the scroll bar to access the Resize icon for the Monarch Chat widget. Now, on the Monarch Chat widget, Choose the Resize icon to increase the width. Everything has been resized. Choose the scroll bar to return to the top of the page. You can also add widgets to the existing Party Rock application. Monarchs usually have descendants who make their own history. You want to add a widget that lists the monarch's notable children, grandchildren, and so on. Choose Add Widget. Users have a choice of different types of widgets that they can add. Choose each title to learn more about each one. You're going to add a text generation widget that creates a prompt with the name entered in the monarch name widget. When you're ready, choose Text Generation. The widget appears on screen along with the settings window. Choose widget title and the widget will be renamed Monarch Family Tree. Leave the FM model as Claude. For the prompt, you want to use the reference to the monarch name, so you need to enter the rest of the prompt. Choose the prompt field and provide a list of descendants for monarch name will be entered for you. Then, the widget will generate a list of the monarch's descendants based on the prompt and the input entered into the monarch name widget. Users can use the chat to learn more about these descendants. If one of these descendants became a king or queen, users could even enter the descendant into the monarch name widget and start a whole new query. Next, Use the Resize icon to make this widget the same size as the Monarch Portrait widget. Choose the Resize icon to make the Monarch Family Tree widget the same size as the Monarch Portrait widget. Note that Party Rock automatically moves the widget into the open space underneath the Monarch Portrait widget. Select the scroll bar to return to the top of the page. Next, you'll add an image generation widget to look at some of the options there. Choose Add Widget 
and then choose Image Generation. You already have a portrait of the monarch, so this image provides some color to the page. Choose Widget Title, and the Life and Times of will be automatically entered. For Model, you will leave it as Stable Diffusion XL. Style Preset is set to No Style Preference by default. Choosing the Style Preset drop-down list shows you a number of options. Because this is for illustrative purposes, choose Fantasy Art. Finally, change the prompt used to generate this image. For Image Description, choose the Text Entry field and an illustrative scene from one of the bullet points or paragraphs from More About This Monarch will automatically be entered. Choose Advanced Settings to examine the options. Here are the sliders for CFG Scale Here are the sliders for CFG Scale and Seed. Adjusting these options will determine how closely your image follows the prompt. The higher these go, the more random and creative the image will be from the original prompt. Leave the default settings and choose Save. Party Rock has used the information from the More About This Monarch widget to generate a new image. To examine what Party Rock used to generate the image, on the menu toolbar, choose Prompt. This option will show you the exact prompt that was generated to create this image. Because it's for only illustrative purposes, leave it as is. Choose the Resize icon to resize the widget to reduce empty space. You're going to add one more widget. You might find it necessary to provide Party Rock application users with static text. Some uses of this text might be directions or suggestion for the user. You're going to add a list of the notable kings and queens in history to make it easier for users to enter names into the monarch name field. In the center of the playground space, choose Create Widget and then choose Static Text. Choose Widget Title and Resource. A list of notable world rulers will be automatically entered. Choose the Content field and a pre-prepared list of rulers will be automatically entered into the text box. The widget appears as static text in your Party Rock application. Choose the Resize icon to make the list the same width as the Monarch Chat widget and move it directly under the Monarch Chat widget. Okay, the application is finished and ready to share. Choose the scroll bar to scroll to the top of the page. Choose the close or X icon to finish editing. To make your application public and share it with the world, choose Make Public and Share. A pop-up will verify that the application is now public and remind you that it is available for anyone to see. Choose the Copy Link to Clipboard button to copy the URL to your project and share it with your friends. Congratulations! You've created your first application with Party Rock.